Welkom bij de Corine van Zoelen podcast. Jouw wekelijkse kijk op een nieuwe wereld. Met vandaag Esje Dirijan om te praten over het Turkse koffiekopje lezen. And then after my friends told me, oh, you told true. You, what you said, this came true. Then I was surprised myself. Welkom bij podcast 253. En in deze podcast interview ik Esje Dirijandle. En je zult misschien denken, huh? die ken ik helemaal niet. Maar dat klopt. Het is een vriendin van mij en ik heb haar ontmoet in 1998 in Turkije, in Marmaris. Toen ik daar werkte als hostess. Zij zat op kantoor en zij regelde eigenlijk alle reserveringen bij de hotels, de buslijsten. Zodat ik wist wanneer ik de toeristen op moest halen vanaf het vliegveld Dalleman of Bodrum. Om te brengen naar een hotel of appartement. In, uh, in Marmaris. En ook om ze dan daar weer op te halen en uiteindelijk weer terug te brengen richting het vliegveld. Um, destijds las zij voor de eerste keer mijn koffiekopje. En ook dat van vrienden en familie uh, die dan bij mij op vakantie kwamen. Nou, eerder heb ik al een podcast opgenomen over het koffiekopje lezen. Dat was podcast 240. En daarin vertel ik ook eigenlijk al mijn ervaringen. Uh, hoe uh, ze eigenlijk had voorspeld in het koffiekopje dat ik mijn man ging ontmoeten. Maar ook hoe ze had voorspeld dat ik een huis ging kopen aan het water. Nou, tijdens de vacation in Turkije uh, gaat ze ook het koffiekopje lezen voor de eerste zeven deelnemers. Dus ben jij benieuwd naar wat er in jouw koffiekopje staat? En heb jij ook heel veel zin om samen met mij en andere toffe ondernemers naar Turkije te gaan, waar we dus aan het strand gaan werken, in een prachtige strandtent, op het balkon, ja niet op het balkon, maar met de rooftop en we kijken uit over de zee uh, vanaf de boulevard. Uh, Daar gaan werken, de hele dag, aan je website, uh, genieten van de zon, als je denkt, ik wil heel even op het strand liggen, dan kan dat. Uh, Met mij dus en met uh, Francis werken we dan aan je academie, aan je online platform of aan je website of allerlei andere uh, dingetjes die je wilt doen op je laptop. Is er dus ruimte um, voor ontspanning en gaan we ook masterminden met de andere ondernemers zodat jij ook jouw vraagstuk kan inleggen en wij met jou mee kunnen denken. Is er een, uh, een fotoshoot van een fantastische fotograaf en uh, krijg je dus al die foto's ook mee naar huis. Uh, digitale foto's, maar is ook een, voor de eerste zeven deelnemers een één op één coaching met mij en een koffiekopje reading van Esje. Dus ben jij nou benieuwd naar Esje en ben je nou uh, benieuwd wat er dan in jouw koffiekopje zou kunnen staan, zou ik zeggen ga dan mee met de Workation in Turkije. En je vindt daar ook meer over op www.turkijeworkation.nl De Workation kan ook in combinatie met de Mastermind die binnenkort weer start uh, en met de online training van ondernemer naar online ondernemer. Als je het in combinatie doet met de Mastermind of de training uh, ben je voordeliger uit. Nou, meer hierover vind je ook op de show Notespagina www.corinevanzoelen.nl slash podcast-253. Nou, ik wens je heel veel luisterplezier. At this moment, I'm in Amstelveen and together with my friend Esche, she's in Holland to visit her daughter. Welcome, Esche, in Holland. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so normally we will see each other in uh, Turkey, in Marmaris. And now you are here and you brought the sun with you. Yes, I told you so. <laughs> I said, when you said I need the sun, I said, okay, I'm going to bring next week. Yeah. So I pulled my promise. Yeah, so you came here and the sun was starting to shine. And now there's only rain in Marmaris. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I got this, the our sun to the Holland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I thought maybe it's nice also for the listeners for my podcast uh, who who are thinking like, maybe I want to come to the vacation in Turkey. Uh, 
also to know you because you are going to read the coffee cup. Uh, so I thought maybe it's nice that you say something first, something about you, who you are and why you're living in Marmaris, uh, like that before we go to the coffee cup part. Yeah. My name is Aisha and I'm 54 years old. I'm coming from a very big family and I'm in the middle number eight of the 13 kids. <laughs> so I studied tourism. So I chose the Marmaris because I studied tourism at the university in Turkey. I love it, the Marmaris because the weather, forest, environment is such a peaceful and relaxing. So I thought this is the where my soul need the peace. So that's the reason, 35 years old, I'm still living in Marmaris, but I love the travel. Uh -huh. So my daughter moved in Holland, got the job, settled down here. So that was gave me a chance to visit often to Holland now. Yeah. So Holland could be my second home. <laughs> And then how it came, my mom used to read coffee cup to her friends. Uh -huh. When I was kids, I used to listen to my mom and I was really curious how she could make the feature, all the pictures and telling all the stories. And when I got to the teens, high school age, and I started to have a fun and read for coffee cups for my friends. And then after my friends told me, oh, you told true, you, what you said, this came true. Then I was surprised myself. <laughs> and this is how we start. But I don't do professionals. I just do for fun and just for my friends, make a little bit fun together. That's all what I do. Yeah. But how, how is it working, you know? Because I know first time I came with you, you did my coffee cup and I thought, what the hell is going on? I don't understand. What what are you doing? But it's also like a kind of special coffee, yeah? Yeah, this is the not special coffee. This is the very traditional Turkish coffee. I think in Scotland they do tea tea leaf reading. Yeah, exactly. Like we have the Turkish coffee reading. Mm -hmm. So really, it's not special coffee. It's Turkish tea. Turkish coffee, not tea. Turkish coffee we're reading. So when you finish the, your coffee you making feel and manifest and turn over this the coffee cup three times and if you want to find out what you thinking from inside you taking the cup from inside the out if you want to find out from the future you taking the cup from outside the inside and make them until cold so then inside the coffee tea leaves making the picture so how I can say something about but it's completely really I don't know why I'm saying or how I say it it's just comes from my inside you know sometimes I don't believe myself why I'm saying this <laughs> <laughs> but it's just the way I say yeah Yeah, and you make like the move with your hands from inside to outside and then you mean like the coffee cup is coming th uh, through your breast from your heart and then go yeah. outside yes. and then you mean from outside, you mean outside of your body and bringing the cup to yeah. your uh, breast like that. So, but... Um, So then you started when you were like teenager with it and people said, oh, you're right. Yeah, when I was working in Marmaris, all my family who was coming and my friends, I said, you have to go to Eshe, it's really funny what she's doing. And, and I know that many, many things came true after it. So um, did you also, because many people think, oh, I'm scared because of future, maybe she says like stupid things, but uh, did you always have that, that you felt like something negatively or do, do you tell it? To be honest, if anyone asks me to read Coffee Cup and I, I tell what I see, I don't make it negative and I won't say that, I tell because you find out, so I'm gonna tell. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes I see or feel there is a debt and I can tell it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not hiding anything from the people, but you never know when exactly will happen, how it's gonna be happen. Yes, there is some information you can tell, but you're never sure exactly date or when or how it's gonna be happen. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason I always tell the people I'm reading coffee cup, 
but don't believe 100% whatever I said. Yeah. Don't take too serious because at the end of the day, this is for fun. Yeah. For real story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for fun and when you take it like for real, then also you will manifest it, of course. So yeah. the better is to to hear it, to let it go, but yeah. afterwards you will think like, hmm, maybe she told it. I'm always doing it with my telephone. Uh, when I was younger, I was writing it down, all, yeah. all the stuff you were saying, and now I do it with, uh, with the telephone, I with think the recorder. When you think you manifest, when you say it, it's going to be happen definitely. Yeah. That's the reason we should stay in a positive things and believe in a positive way. Sometimes if anything seems like bad, but I believe that need to be bad, balance it to good things. Mm -hmm. Life is not perfect as the life and human imperfect, the way is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes you need a negative thing to, to really feel and find out what you want, yeah. so you will go exactly. for that. Yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> Yeah. It's true, but sometimes when you are in the middle of it, then you think, mm, shit, why does this happen to me? Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, I know that also one, uh, I already had a podcast about the coffee cup, and then I told about that you said you got to have a house near the water, and finally we. Yeah, we I know that. It. Uh, it was really so funny because you <laughs> said in this year, and we bought it on the 27th of December. And um, so that's in the other podcast, so I will put in the show notes that number. But uh, also you said to my uh, husband, like, yeah, you are getting extra money for your job. And he didn't believe it. And yeah. he said, how I can get extra money? Because he was working as a policeman by that time. Yeah. But I took believe, following a few months' time, he got extra money. Yeah. <laughs> because account department did the wrong. Yeah. That was also so funny because with, when you are at the police, and that's also when you are working like a, a teacher, then you say like you have schaal uh, five or something and then step seven. So he said, I cannot go step higher, so I cannot get extra money. But then they made a mistake and then he got money back from a few months. So yeah, not money back, he got extra money. So it was really funny because we also said it was in the coffee cup. <laughs> This is completely out of blue, really. Yeah. When I said that, I wasn't sure, you know. Most of the time, I'm not sure what I'm saying. It can be happen or it won't be happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But usually it's happened. So it's But me. Yeah, is it also a feeling what you have or is it more that you can see it really in a coffee cup from the the signs, yeah? Because you sometimes you see, then you see like, oh, Corinne, look, here's like a pregnant lady. And then I also see that pregnant lady in that yeah, kind of stuff. Sight. Sometimes I'm reading the side what I see in the cup, but sometimes I can feel it. Mm -hmm. I never forget once upon a time I read somebody's coffee cup and I couldn't breathe mm -hmm. and I felt really can't get the breath in and I said is there anyone who's asthma have an asthma and then out of blue the woman's daughter had an asthma so I was surprised because completely I could feel it mm -hmm. yeah sometimes changing you know I can feel it sometimes I can read the sign it's difficult it's like balancing each other you mm -hmm. know yeah so i'm always happy when i saw the fish when you saw a fish in my coffee cup because yeah, then this was fish. luck <laughs> and, yeah. and fish uh, is always good luck yeah so always. i think oh that's nice even if you dream about the sea and fish always good uh -huh. means good uh -huh. now there's some other signs that you think oh that's nice when you see it in the coffee you know, cup when i see the tree in the cup, I always talk about this, the marriage mm -hmm. or relationship. So it's really good to see the tree so you can say, yes, you have a good marriage or you have a solid relationship. That is very good. And when I see the uh, spot, black spot, tree spot, it means family. So your own 
small family if they are together and it's good sign you know and other things i can say dog if you see any dog in your cup it's always good loyal friendship mm -hmm. so whatever i say in the cup as an animal is always good news mm -hmm. for the future elephant is good memory from the back and for the future you will have always good memory and the bird is always news someone will bring in news if you seen chicken is baby <laughs> i always call baby is on the way or uh -huh. baby was just born so kind of the things really you know it's all your imagination a little bit and have to made up the story <laughs> uh -huh. yeah it was so funny because last time i was with you then there was also a friend of you and she's also reading the coffee cup eh? so she will maybe also help and but she didn't know me and then she was reading the coffee cup because you were reading mine and then you say to her like oh will you also check and see maybe you see something and then she said i see a peacock in the coffee cup do you remember yeah she said i see a peacock two peacocks and they are looking at each other and it's like kind of hard between so it's really like bonding together with the peacock and but she didn't know me and and she didn't know that i have like yeah. peacock in my business yeah. so it was also so funny yeah it's you know there is a Sometimes I believe when you come together, these the people, you can feel the energy of that people. Maybe we read them from the people's energy, not from the cup actually, really. Mm -hmm. Like your color, your aura, your vibes give you some information. Mm -hmm. I'm never really sure, you know, because as I said, that's the, the lady seeing the peacock and the, your business friend, yeah. actually. So maybe that is the reason, you know, when you see the people, you can feel it straight away, energy or uh -huh. frequency. Frequency, yeah. Frequencies, you can feel it. Maybe that's the way you get to know something or you can get some information. Yeah. Yeah, I had. Uh, I'm uh, to a medium school in yeah. uh, in Amsterdam, and uh, there we also did. It was only for fun, also with uh, Christmas. So from the the candles, and then you put the iron on it, so then it's going to melt, and then it also makes like the the figures. So I also. It was for me same like coffee cup because you learned me a little bit and I'm also when I'm doing the coffee cup I also making things up but it's really funny you know but now I was reading that card with that uh, from the candle on it and then my teacher said like oh you're really good at this eh, Karine you really like this but it was really for me familiar with the coffee cup so I think that's maybe also I liked it because other practices we had to do I really thought like oh my god I don't know I'm not good at it I cannot do like this and then you have to make like contact and also feel things so it was really uh, funny because I feel more comfortable with it so because it was like almost same for me I think if you think and listen your feelings or other people and you will know it I believe nowadays we are too busy with the technology or you know material things and we lose in the our connection frequency but when you connect with the frequency you would know everything you can feel it everything so this is the how really i believe some people have more strong sixth sense because they are connected Mm -hmm. with other things you know trees birds environments everything but some people hasn't got that strong connection because they are too busy to study or they are too busy doing homework or housework or job so they are not thinking so i believe everyone has the ability to understand or listen mm -hmm. other people if you give yourself a chance you will know yeah. everything yeah that's also what my teacher says everybody knows this because it's the the um, the thing from the from the soul it's the language of the soul uh, yeah so and also when you are really in 
uh, in rest, then you can feel kind of thing. And I can yeah. also feel kind of things. And I was really wondering, like, sometimes I feel the things and I say it and I think it's because of my HDHD. But I think, is it really the HDHD or is it something that I feel from other people? So that's what I now I'm like. I believe HDH is very good gift from the gut. Mm -hmm. If you can guide yourself or if you're being guided by the parents or if you're being guided by the teacher is gift. You know, it's not all age that you need the, the, you know, medical side sport. I think sometimes if you know you have this condition is like what well, autism, you know, is Human are perfect with the imperfect way. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason if your brain talking too much is being connecting so much things at the same time, this is the uh, gift, I think. Mm -hmm. and, but ha, somehow I believe you being protected because from your heart, who people have HDH or autism or Down syndrome, I believe is being protected by the universal or the, by the God or by the, the, some guardian angels. Mm -hmm. And they always been protected. So I think it shouldn't be take as a bad side. This should be take as a gift. As a gift, yes, exactly. As a gift. Yeah, I also think like that, but it's nice to find out now if it, is it really my uh, thoughts or is it a feeling from somebody else and a thought of somebody else which is coming to my mind and then I think it's mine, but maybe it's not mine, you know? So that's what I'm we serve, searching now. Uh, look, everyone find serves out. another thing, you know? We serve each other mm -hmm. and I believe Every come, everyone comes in a life for a reason or for a season. So it must be some reason you thinking and, and connecting. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't be negative or you shouldn't feel down or you should think really positive. Okay then, yeah. I accept it. Yeah. Ah, yeah, we will see. So I'm uh, looking forward to see you back again in June with the yeah. vacation and uh, also the people who are already booked uh, for the vacation, they are all very excited like, ooh, we're going to read that coffee cup. Am I still in time for the coffee cup? Yeah, in the sun, yeah. on the seaside. Oh, and on the lovely marmors. And I really, uh, you said you love marmors, but for me, same, because so. that's my second. <laughs> country yeah. and place it's uh, honestly uh, my soul rest in marmaris yeah i love the travel i love to visit other places and countries and cultures but always love to come back to marmaris mm -hmm. where i found peace and rest yeah yeah, many people think, of course, of like, oh, going out and busy at the boulevard, but it's so much more because you have the sea, yeah. you have the forest at the end. We had, of course, some fire, but still there's forest left. And well, I believe every city and every country has energy as well. So really, Marmaris has this kind of the energy where you find this all peace and rest mm -hmm. and joy and love, I believe. But some place where do you go, you get this distress, where you get the anger, where you feel this the depression. So that is the reason I believe, really, wherever you go, that city and country has energy. Yeah. I also believe like that. So you're always welcome to Marmaris. I know, I know. Yeah. yeah, so thank you. Is there something else you think, oh, that's I have to say because maybe Corinne didn't ask for me? And to be honest, that, that was really always joy spend time with Corinne <laughs> and we can have a laugh and fun. Uh -huh. and. Hopefully we will another cast in Marmaris then. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because we know each other since 1998. Yeah, it's gone. Long time. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we will have more adventure together. Yeah, I also hope like that. So thank you very much. And uh, Thank you. Yeah. That was my pleasure.
Ja, dat was Esje. Ik hoop dat jij het een leuke podcast vond. Hij was dus in het Engels. En als jij denkt, ik heb ook zin in dat koffiekopje. Ik heb zin om met jou mee te gaan naar Turkije. Check dan sowieso even de site www.turkijeworkation.nl En uh, check anders alles ook op de show notes pagina. Want dan vind je alles helemaal terug. Dus corinevanzoelen.nl slash podcast 253. Daar vind je ook de site naar de mastermind en de site naar de online training. Uh, zodat jij ook een eigen online programma of cursus kan ontwikkelen. En als je dat dan doet in combinatie uh, met de vacation, dan ben je uiteindelijk dus voordeliger uit. Nou, ik lijk mij echt super tof als jij ook meegaat. En um, als je er vragen over hebt, stuur me dan sowieso even een mailtje naar info.corinevanzoelen.nl Mocht je deze podcast nou leuk vinden, ga hem dan even delen. Geef hem een sterretje, een hartje of een duimpje of wat dan ook. En uh, alvast bedankt voor je support. Graag tot de volgende keer. Doei doei!